What's up guys, we're here from Contentment Books and Tea and I'm just uh, going for a hike in Scotland, casually fighting next to a fucking river which I flooded the other day, which was like, scary as shit. Because uh, we nearly got flooded, well we didn't nearly get flooded, the whole fucking place is flooded because in England at the moment, if you've been watching the international news or whatever, there's been like a load of floods happening, there's been like 500 homes flooded in uh, Yorkshire, over a thousand in Leeds and basically it's just getting worse, it's fucking keeps raining. This river was like all over them fields over there. But um, yeah, so this is the Scotland vlog. Oh yeah, that's alright. Doesn't matter that doesn't matter that we've got no electricity, no lights, but we've got oh, steak pies, that's alright. So this is ridiculous. Alright, so I don't know how clearly you guys can see this, but this is the river that we walked past yesterday. Uh, we're currently under attack from a fucking shed load of water. Um, we're literally flooding. We've had the environmental agency guy come around and tell us um, that Peebles, which is just up the road, has already underwater basically, and we've got to move the cars. <coughs> if we don't want to float down the road, we'll be safe because we've got about seven foot, like footings basically, underneath the house, so that's fine. But that's the fucking river, like really. You can kind of see like this line here is where the actual bank is, and then it's just spread all the way across. We're stopping to work out how to do that. There it is. We're stopping just there. So that's interesting. Uh, we're going to go take a look. Also amidst all my fluff, I don't know if you can see, oh, this here um, is a power thing and uh, we've just had a power cut so we've got to go to the local co-op to get some fucking candles because we can't see. Um, it's a good job we charged up all our electrics and stuff last night, phones, iPads, Kindles, whatever. Our dog's pissed off because he can't watch TV, that's his thing, and he just turned off and he turned around and looked at everyone like, what? It's a good job this bridge is fucking strong. This is our back garden right now. Uh, don't think you can see these steps down here. The bottom step, that way. Um, that was not underwater. It's about four inches deep and that became underwater in about 10 minutes. So this could be interesting. All right, so um, the environmental guy has just come back and uh, well, we just had a power cut actually and uh, they said it could take anywhere from 20 minutes to two days to sort out, but the power just came back on. That was in about, yeah, well actually two hours. Um, and then, the water's still rising, he just came around again and basically said that um, the water in Peebles is still rising and they're not expecting it to peak here for another three, four hours. That is now, oh, that way, the width of the river Tweed, so yeah. This is now the garden as well. Something 
else that the weather guy said um, was that the water is actually now in the transformer, so power's going to go off again, probably for longer. Um, I've just come to have a look, that's why I've gone outside again. And, yep. yep, that is what you think it is. And this is now running pretty damn fucking fast. This is how wide this is now. You can see these turnips down here. Those have been washed down uh, the river. If I can get the fucking camera to do it right. They've been washed down this river from Peebles. Seriously, where has this log come from? Okay, so I'm standing in the school car park just over the bridge and down the road from where we're staying. This is the school, this is the fucking car park. As you can see, the water's finally onto the driveway. The water has also come from there all the way over this field and is now into that field. It's gone all the way around there behind this bloke's house and he's actually in his garden around there, so that's weird. The guy in the car sitting that way, he's been sitting there watching the substation. Um, I just spoke to him, he says that uh, the power, they shouldn't need to turn it off, uh, but if they do need to turn it off, then they can have backup generators within like two hours, so that's fine. Um, we'll be fine, because like our house is ridiculously far off the ground, but we might be islanded here for some time. So it's a good job we thought of that this morning and went to the fucking co-op and got shitloads of beer. All right, this is getting a bit close now. Okay, so the guy who lives next door to us, who's never had to leave and the whole time he's been living here uh, because of floods, has just left. And he was telling us earlier, oh, don't worry about the environmental guy. He's just, he's just like, over exaggerates everything. You'll never need to be evacuated, whatever. He's just come out, looked at it and gone, yeah, I better leave. And he's taking his dog with him. But it's okay, it's at the bottom step outside the front door, as long as it stops there, that's fine. So we're just gonna have some drinks, play some Uno, and get fucking drunk. It's now seven at night, it was supposed to peak level at six. It's now over the first step and it's actually trickling down here, down the side of the house, which is new. All this is now flooded down there, so that's kind of worrying. As you guys can see, this is now the front. This is completely full up to the second step. We've had to sort of like put like a bag full of dirt just there, weigh it down. And then this side, you can see the difference. You can see the bottom step on that side. Because um, all, all of this is now flooded as well. We're trying to stop it from going in the house. It was supposed to have peaked two hours ago at six. It's now quarter past eight and it's still coming. So we'll see in the morning. Well guys, as you can see, it's actually 11 o'clock uh, the next morning and all the flood water that was in our drive has receded. Um, you can see where the river is over there. Wait, wait, this is, this lighter water is like the actual river and then this is all flood water here. Um, <clears throat> yesterday, I wish you could have seen it, but my camera on my iPhone is not good enough in the dark. All of these fields were flooded. Like, it was ridiculous. All of that field was flooded. This whole road was flooded. Um, but it's all receded now, so it's all good. Come down here. You can see on the garage the brown marks where the lock is. That's where the water came up to last time. Um, the damage is ridiculous. Let me just focus the camera here. Look. The, the, it's ripped the fence off from all the debris. If I just walk backwards. The debris. The debris that's behind the fence is uh, real. I've actually come down into the garden now and you can see the debris better from this side. So that's what all the like crap that the river dragged through basically into our garden, that's what it did, it just took the fence out. We've still got a fuck ton of residual water uh, left, um, but it's nowhere near as high as it was last night. Like this tree here, like you can only see the top of that tree, the fence in the background, that was completely submerged. If you see the line here on the on the garage behind me, that is where the water level was last night. And that, if I go and stand over there, is actually taller than me. And I'm 5'7", so it's probably at least six foot deep uh, last night because it was just over everywhere. That is not good. You can see all the sheep over there have been moved up onto that field because all of this was just one big massive room up. Couldn't see that truck last night either. Not gonna lie. Oh, 
Oh, well, I was just speaking to those guys back there. Uh, they're from BT, and uh, that video, that clip that was just the last one, uh, that was actually a telegraph pole that's just been thrown into the river, and it's like just caught on the bridge. There's also a massive tree caught on the bridge as well, so I'm a bit worried about the bridge itself, even though it's withstood quite a lot. And uh, the environmental guy from last night is there as well, and he said that it's on par with the 1948 flood, I think he said, uh, which was the record flood, so that's pretty ridiculous. He said they didn't know, a lot of people are asking questions because they said in Peebles where there was a severe weather warning that, because um, it was supposed to peak at six and it didn't peak until about half eight because the water started going down and then it all of a sudden just like went back up again and everyone's like, what the fuck? So he thinks that there's a couple of big reservoirs. They think that people have released water from the reservoir to try and just wash it away, if that makes sense. So if you wash a flood away, but keep the flow going, I guess. But that's kind of, it's kind of weird. Positive note guys, today's New Year's Eve and we're all going into Edinburgh to do some more shopping, so let's see when we get there. We can't afford to go in there. And of course, we ended up in all the stores. Just walking down the street, it's going to be closed off for Hogmanay with these two idiots. But uh, it's loud as fuck. Hi guys, I said we were going to do something bookish and uh, this is Lauren by the way, that's my girlfriend, she hates being in videos, uh, but anyway, we're currently in the Elephant House Cafe which we've been queuing for what, half an hour, 40 minutes to get into, because uh, it's the birthplace of Harry Potter and uh, we've got Mini Voldy down here on the table which you can't even see because he's behind my coffee, but there he is, and uh, yeah, we're just joining coffee. If you follow us on Instagram, by the way, go check out this loser's Instagram. It's Art of Lauren Shipley. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, it's every single word, but it has a full stop in between, so it's fairly easy. Free advertisement, bitch. It's the heritage of Scotland. I think it's safe to say we're lost in Edinburgh, looking for the bus station, but at the same time... Would you look at that view? We found a bus station, we're on the bus, yes. we're gonna go home and get drunk. Well guys, good morning. It's uh, officially 2016 now. Didn't vlog last night because way too tired, way too drunk. But anyway, I wanted to show you this entire road, that's where, uh, that's the guy's house who we're staying next to, so we're directly behind that. This entire road was flooded the other night. All this water here behind me isn't even supposed to be there. It's not even part of the river, but it looks like it is. This, like I said, this whole road was flooded. This was all flooded. There was people driving over it in like Toyota Hilux trucks, but that's because they're indestructible. And then you can see what it's done to like the tarmac behind me. You can see bits of it in the actual field. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. And there's a nice frost this morning. So we've got Frosty Sarks 2016, but we're traveling home today. We're going home a day early purely because of the bad weather but we managed to go to Edinburgh yesterday I managed to go to the Elephant House Cafe which I'm stoked about bought a load of stuff there and um, I'll be doing a Christmas slash New Year haul video uh, for you guys to see to see what I got and um, hope to see you then so if you enjoyed this vlog uh, please drop a like on it and subscribe to this channel support my content and uh, see you in the next video